While watching this video, you will get acquainted with the Smile Design user interface and the tools available in this application. Start with opening your application and adding a patient and a new case. Then, when in the order form, click the Smile Design tab in the indications list. Since Smile Design is a treatment planning tool, you do not have to choose any indications. Now click the Comments and Attachments tab and add clinical photos of the patient. Smile Design can be used with a smile photo alone or with both a smile and a retracted photo. The retracted photo is needed if the patient does not show the gum when smiling. In this video, we will demonstrate how to do a design using both photos. The attached photos are now visible in the panel. When the photos are uploaded, click Next and drag the photos into the correct placeholder. The pictures can be moved around if needed. Go to the next step when ready. In this step, you should perform the alignment of the photo to find the balance of the face by placing three sets of reference points. Put the points on the pupils, nasal wings, and commissures. You can do that in any order. The magnifier glass tool can help with the precise placement of the reference points and can be disabled if necessary. The pupil and commissure points are used to align the picture by finding the horizontal balance between the points. The nasal wing points help to set the midline properly and to dictate the canine position. The points can be adjusted at any time if necessary, as well as the angulation of the photo. To start the placement afresh, use the clear button. When the photo is balanced, there is the blue line to mark the lip line. That line will be used later on to create shadowing on the design. The placement of the lip line can be done by dragging the control points, clicking the points on the picture, or by drawing the line on the picture. The magnifier can also be used at that step. When ready, click Next and perform alignment of the two photos. If you only work with a smile photo, you'll go directly to the smile design step. Alignment should be done by placing two sets of corresponding points on the pictures. The magnifier glass tool is also available here. As a result of the alignment, you will have overlaid pictures with aligned teeth and the possibility of further adjustment. Also at that point, the clear button is available if you'd like to start the alignment again. When ready, go to the next step, where you do your smile design for the patient. The user interface consists of a central window displaying the patient's photo with suggested teeth design and smile frame guidelines. The auto-placement of the teeth design is guided by the placement of reference points and lines. The placement can be adjusted. The patient photo can be zoomed in and out using the scroll wheel and moved around by pressing the middle mouse button or the left and right mouse buttons at the same time. To work with the teeth outlines, there are the transform and freeform tools, as well as visibility sliders. Let's start with the sliders located in the upper right side of the user interface. Use the sliders or shortcuts visible in brackets while hovering over a given slider to hide the smile frame, turn the simulated teeth texture on and off, switch between the smile and retracted photos if available. To see the full face, click on the front view button. While working on the outline design, you can change the default library by going to the Smile Library drop-down list and selecting the desired shapes. If you click twice, then you can flick through the libraries using the up and down arrows on the keyboard. The default number of teeth is 10. You can remove the teeth you do not wish to provide any treatment for by clicking on them. When the tooth is highlighted, you can remove that tooth from the overlay, clicking the Delete Tooth button or just press Delete on your keyboard. If there's a need to go back, click the Undo or Redo buttons. To go back to default settings, click Reset Smile. The placement of teeth outlines can be adjusted easily using the control points. Hover over the smile frame to see the control points. Use it to move the smile frame up and down and shift it to the sides to align to the middle of the face. Scale it vertically using the upper and lower arrows. Or scale the width using the lateral arrows. While doing that, you can see the change in the percentage of the height to width ratio. Now you can also use the gingival and smile curves control points to adjust it in relation to the commissures and change the perspective of the teeth outlines. By default, the smile design step opens with the transform tool being active. 
the tooth, when chosen and activated, can be moved around to adjust the position. Just click on it and drag. You can also use the symmetric design and link design mode to design the shapes in relation to other teeth. In the default setting, both are activated. Symmetric design allows you to work on the chosen tooth and the contralateral tooth at the same time. Linked design allows you to adjust the tooth and its neighbor at the same time. While both tools are active, you can use the full adjustment possibilities provided by the software, which is symmetrical adjustment to all the guiding lines and design of the whole smile. Click on the freeform tool button to activate it or use the tab button to switch between tools. While in the freeform tool mode, the highlight of the chosen tooth changes to green. You can change the shape of the tooth, hovering over the tooth, to see a prediction of the new shape. The radius of the tool can also be adjusted using the slider, or by holding shift and using the mouse scroll. You can also change the shape of the tooth by freely drawing its outlines. To change between teeth, click on another tooth. You will have to be further away than the prediction to select it. The measurement tool enables you to add measurements of the existing teeth. The measurement can be used as a reference when you do the smile design and as input for making the mock-up model. Place the arrow where the measurement has been taken and input the value in the measure box. In the next step, you can use the simulation tool where you can change the texture library on the teeth. Using the sliders, you can also adjust the shade and brightness of the simulation. It can be done for all the teeth involved or just for some of them. Use auto color to restore to default. Highlights and shadow from live can also be adjusted for even more realistic simulation. This can also be improved by the photo edit tool, allowing gum adjustment if necessary. The size of that tool can be changed using the slider or by holding shift and mouse scroll. When the smile design is ready, click next to find yourself in the presentation step, where the slider allows you to compare the design outcome with the current dentition. At that step, you can use the Export Photos button that allows you to choose the location and export the photos in PNG format. Now you are familiar with the tools available in the Smile Design application. Thank you for watching.